In 2022, Iranians took to the streets in their thousands in the aftermath of the death in police custody of a young woman, Mahsa Jina Amini, whose name would soon be known all over the world. Iranian women demanded their rights as the Iranian regime swept hundreds of protesters into prison. Nargis Mohammadi smuggled messages from her own prison cell, encouraging them to continue, saying some things are worth fighting for. Nargis and her family have paid a devastating price for her work. She has been repeatedly arrested and been in and out of prison since 2009. <laughs> This is me at the beginning of motherhood. Kiana and Ali are 10 days old. The twins were in my embrace. It has been six years since we were last together. No pictures, no memories, no hugs. The tyrannical government has mercy for no one. Women and men sit in the corners of prisons. Lives are displaced and souls are devastated. Tyranny brings longing and waiting longing for the most primal, ordinary and ancient things of humanity, being, smelling and kissing. Nargis spearheaded the fight for human rights in Iran, including by defending prisoners of conscience. This made her a target of the Iranian government. During a recent reprieve from prison, Nargis wrote her book White Torture based on interviews with female detainees and focusing on solitary confinement and other forms of psychological abuse of prisoners in custody. I had a very good experience in 1380 in the first time. And at the same time, I had a very good experience in the first time that the human being is in the same way of the human being. In 2021, an Iranian court again convicted Nargis of new spurious charges of defamation and propaganda against the state. Back in jail since November 2021, Nargis is currently serving multiple sentences totaling more than 10 years behind bars and 80 lashes and may yet face further charges because she refuses to stay silent from within the walls of Evin prison.